Hey friends, welcome back, Dalton here, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at how to schedule your day inside of Notion to ensure the greatest amount of productivity every single day. I promise you this is a good one, very helpful using Notion timeline view. Let's get into it. All right, so here we are in Notion, and we have this master task uh, database. This is very simplified from my other video that I've made, but it's very simple, it's just a done column, and then you have the name for the task, and then you have the tag. So this is really gonna be important, and you can do this however you wanna do. Maybe you, if you wanna do week one of the month, week two of the month, or you could do this quarter, uh, this year, this week, today, the next two days, maybe, maybe you could do like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of the week. However you wanna be able to structure your day and kind of plan it out, that's what you wanna do for the tags. And then you're just going to go ahead and add this date column and make sure this is a database and not a page. So if you go ahead and if you don't have this already, just create this real quick or go watch my other video. I'll link it up right here to create this and then come back to this video. But uh, just go ahead and create a page and then click this table down here uh, just so you get the right database. And then you can go ahead and name it whatever you want. So once you have that, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make a new page and I'm going to call it. Uh, daily plan or you could call this the 135 rule because this is essentially what we're doing um, so and I guess you could do that actually you don't have to do that but that's what you could do uh, this is gonna be a page though so I'm just gonna do empty and then click up here to the buttons to make this small text and full width uh, just because I like that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go go ahead and uh, do backslash create and then create link database and here we're just going to go ahead and search for that the database we just made. So I'm just going to type in master task. There it is. Cool. So we have this. I'm just going to rearrange it a little bit in a nicer way. And I forgot to uh, add these columns. Or I forgot to add one column, which is the uh, priority. So prior, I don't know how to spell, priority. Uh, do select. So we're going to do... Um, Big priority, so this comes from the one through five rule where I'm getting this from where it's choose one big task to complete, uh, three kind of smaller tasks, and then one, um, or and then five like extremely little, like very, very low friction, low effort tasks uh, to do as well. So we're gonna do big, medium, and you can name these again however you want. And then we're gonna do small. And then we're gonna make this gray, just so it kinda blends in a little bit more. Cool. Uh, click out of there. Clear that out. Cool. Alrighty. So uh, I'm not going to mess with the priority because you can go ahead and really do this however you want. But the first thing we're going to do once we have your database all settled, your table all settled, go ahead and add a view and then just do uh, today view. Or you could do execute or plan, whatever you want to do. But we're going to do today. And then we're gonna click down to new, Notion's new timeline feature. And if you haven't already seen my video on this and you wanna check it out a little bit more, go ahead and watch the video, link it above or in the description down below uh, to go ahead and get a view or to go ahead and get kind of an idea of what the timeline view does. It's new, came out last week, extremely phenomenal, really cool. So go ahead and create timeline view. And then as you see here, we have our table here, all of our tasks. And then we have kind of this timeline view and what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this uh, filter button right here. Actually, sorry, we're gonna go ahead and click the month button and we're gonna make this day. So it shows uh, kind of our day. And then what we're gonna do as well is go ahead and click this button. We're going to add a filter. We're gonna add a filter group where the tag is today. And so now we see take the trash out and schedule Facebook and Instagram posts are scheduled for today. So somewhere in my day, I need to schedule where am I going to take the trash out and when am I going to schedule Facebook, Instagram posts. And since scheduling Facebook and Instagram posts, and these are fake tasks, by the way, uh, since that's kind of more cognitive, creative work than take the trash out is, I'm going to block off my morning. So nine to 12 to schedule Facebook and Instagram posts. And as you noticed, and before we had that checkbox, if you want to go ahead and add that, just go ahead and hit this, uh, the three buttons up there and then hit the properties panel. And then you see the uh, tab here. So you have show on first load. You can show the table. You can turn that on or off. Uh, I like the table. But what we want to do is show in table. We want to turn the done uh, box on and I can hopefully rearrange that. Yeah. Uh, so we want to go ahead and turn that on. We'll go back to properties. 
and then we want to turn on, uh, you could turn on priority, you could turn on date, whatever. Uh, and then in the timeline as well, I want to show that checkbox. And actually, it's the UI, or I guess user experience, isn't, uh, it's a little clunky still. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off for now, the done in the, in the table. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm going to turn the done off uh, in the uh, timeline, not the table. Timeline. Keep it on. Cool. All right. So that is that. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty simple. That's that's really, that's really all I have to do uh, to plan your day. But we're going to go ahead and add another view and we're going to do this week. Go ahead, add timeline, hit create, change the month to week, and then add a filter. Add a filter. We're going to add a filter group where name contains actually uh, where name change that. It's not let me click on it. There we go. Uh, where priority oops, tags is this week and then add a filter or tags is today. And the reason we want to add this week and today is because that way we can see a little bit more of a glance of what our week is going to look like. So I want to see the task that I need to operate on and execute on today, but I also want to see the task that I need to operate and execute on sometime this week. So let's say writing the blog post on the practice, let's say I want to do that on Sunday. So I'm going to schedule that on Sunday. Uh, take the trash out is going to be today. Engaging with the community, we'll do that for Saturday, and that's it. And now you are quickly able to look at all the tasks you have planned out for the week. This is a pretty light, light week for me. Obviously, again, this is a fake task I just kind of put in here. And then you kind of can just schedule out your week as is. Uh, and then we're just going to repeat for this month, this year, this quarter, however many different views you want to have. So we'll do, type in this month timeline, hit create. Um, we'll keep the month where it's at. And then we'll go to filter. Add a filter group where uh, priority oops, or tags is today or tags is this week. Here we go. Uh, filter or tags is this month. So now we can be able to see what tasks you want to accomplish uh, for this entire month. So yeah, this is uh, it's pretty, really, really cool actually. Um, but we're gonna go back into the today view and we're gonna just be able to see a little bit more here, over here in the table, turn some properties on in the table, uh, the priority we have for these tasks. So take the trash out is very small. Schedule Facebook and Instagram posts is medium. Uh, let's say one big, let's, uh, let's do uh, write script, write script for video. So that's kind of a big heavy lift. So that will be big. If you choose to do your day in the one through five rule, I have a video, a quick, actually really quick video linked above here, um, kind of explaining the one through five rule, what it is, but essentially it's you choose one extremely big task, one medium task, or sorry, one extremely big task, three kind of medium, lower heavy tasks, and then five, like super low effort, super like frictionless tasks, like take the trash out, stuff that doesn't take a lot of creative attention. Um, and then that's how you schedule your day. And then you do that maybe the night before, uh, or maybe you, you do each each day at the very beginning of the week. And this just helps ensure that one, you don't get overloaded. You're not trying to do too many tasks in one day, but also you know exactly what you need to be doing when. And I found a big key to procrastination and to solve procrastination is really just being able to know what I'm supposed to do and at what time I need to do it. So that is one helpful tip. And hopefully this uh, kind of daily plan might help you be able to do that. And again, you can do this whole thing for a month, a year, uh, two years, a quarter, uh, a decade, like just keep adding views, keep adding uh, tags and you'll be set. Hope you enjoyed that little tutorial. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and like it, subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified when I post new videos. And as always, if you have any questions, just go ahead and drop them down in the comments below, or you can hit me up on Twitter at Dalton Mabry. If you want to learn more about Notion, go ahead and check out this video up here, where I talk about how to build a master task database like the one seen in this video, or check out this video down here down below. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you in the next video.